This is the default designer workspace in Dreamweaver, but you're not stuck with it if it doesn't suit your workflow. It's just one of several presets that can be selected from the workspace menu. In Windows, the workspace menu is here at the top right of the screen. In the Mac, it's a little bit further to the left. If you can't see it in the Mac, go to Window and select Application Bar. Let's take a quick look at some of the presets that are available in the workspace menu. App Developer is for working with server-side languages like PHP and Cold Fusion. Classic uses the same workspace layout as Dreamweaver MX to Dreamweaver 8. Coder is for people who prefer to work primarily in CodeView. Now these are only suggestions. The Dreamweaver workspace is highly configurable. You can move panels by taking hold of the tab, holding down the mouse button and pulling. That makes a panel into a freestanding panel. You can combine one panel with another by taking hold of the tab again and moving it over one of the other groups. When you see the blue line, release your mouse button and then everything is put together. You can also move panels as a group by holding down your left mouse button on the grey bar which is to the side of the tabs, pulling and then releasing when the panel is in the position that you want it to be. You can also dock panels or panel groups on the other side of the screen by dragging until you see a blue bar appear. Sometimes it's difficult to, to get it to come. There we go, there's the blue bar and release your mouse button and the panel group is now docked on the left-hand side of the screen. To collapse a column of panels, click the double arrow at the top here. That moves them to icons, and if you want even more screen space to be saved, hover your cursor over the edge until you get a double-headed arrow, and drag until you see only the icons. To open a panel from here, just click, and then you can resize the panel by dragging the corner. Only one panel like this can be opened at a time, so if I click one of these other icons, the Files panel will close and the AP Elements panel opens. Click this one and the CSS Style panel opens, so only one at a time. After experimenting, if you don't like the changes that you've made, go to the Workspace menu and select Reset whatever the name of the workspace was. In this case it was Designer, so it's Reset Designer and it moves everything back to the default positions. To work with HTML5 and CSS3, there are two panels that you'll be using a great deal. One of them is CSS styles, so I suggest that you drag that as a separate panel. The other one is the Tag Inspector panel, which is not open by default in the Designer workspace. So click Window and then select Tag Inspector. It puts the Tag Inspector together with the AP Elements panel, but I suggest that you move it together with the uh, CSS Styles panel. Put them together, there we have them as a panel group, and move them over to the left-hand side of the screen and dock them there. Now let's have a look at some of the other panels. Adobe Browser Lab is an online service that lets you upload your pages to an Adobe server to see what they look like in a variety of browsers. It can be quite useful, so I suggest you leave it. The Insert panel is also extremely useful, so you need to leave that one too. I don't find the AP Elements panel all that useful, so I'm going to close it by right-clicking on the grey bar and choosing Close Tab Group. Business Catalyst is another Adobe online service that builds websites in a hosted content management system. Unless you subscribe to that service, I suggest closing the panel. Right-click and close tab group. There's one final panel that I find very useful, and that's snippets, where you can store frequently used code. It's not displayed by default in the designer workspace, so go to Window and select Snippets. It's automatically put together with the Files and Assets panel, so that works quite nicely. Now to give myself some more space, I'm going to collapse this right column panel by clicking the double arrows here reducing them to icons, and then narrowing them down just to the icons themselves. This allows me to make the panel group on the left-hand side a little bit wider. There, that looks rather nice. Now, I've made all the changes, 
so that the redesigned workspace is available the next time I use Dreamweaver, I need to save it. So go to the Workspace menu and select New Workspace and give the workspace a name. I'm going to call it Video to Brain and click OK. There it is, it's now saved and I can move to other workspaces such as if I want to go back to the designer workspace it's there and if I want to go back to video to brain it's there at the top of my list. So it's extremely useful to be able to have different workspaces for the different projects that you work on in Dreamweaver.